the 1990s. Bill Clinton is president, Disney's Aladdin is released in theaters, and Windows for PC becomes available to the world. And in Red Deer, Alberta, a fluffy-haired young man from Rimby meets a feisty American Goldilocks. Mike and Monica fell in love and spent the next few years studying and training. Then, in the span of three weeks, they graduated Bible college, got married, and started a church in Leduc. After a few months of Bible studies in a local home, the Leduc Word of Life Center held its first official Sunday service at the Kinsman Center. Soon the church began holding services in Christ the King School with an average Sunday attendance of 37.5 people. The next few years brought many new additions for the Prescott family and our church family. In 1999, Word of Life began renting an old pool hall. Friday nights became a key focal point of the church as countless young people gave their lives to Christ. 2004 was a year of new beginnings. We purchased and remodeled an old workout gym on Main Street. In the years that followed, we've partnered with different organizations such as A21 to combat human trafficking. We've taken teams to Dominican Republic and Rwanda with different organizations we partner with, like Compassion Canada and Home of Hope. We've blessed our community with outreach events. We've raised up the next generation and seen lives change and connections built through events for men and women. City Life Church plowed forward with a strong momentum that nothing could stop, not even a roof collapse. In January of 2011, an excess of heavy snow caused a huge portion of the roof to collapse. Our church was flooded and we were out on the streets. For the next four months, church services were held at a local performing arts centre. What looked bad on the surface was actually a huge strengthening season for our church. And in 2018, we launched our second location at the Scotiabank Theatre in West Edmonton Mall. We are so thankful for the amazing one and a half years we had in that location before the whole world changed. The last two years taught us resilience as we adapted to both online services and services with restrictions. But beautiful things have come from that time. Today, we are celebrating what Jesus has done through the vision of two young kids who started a church with very little money or experience, but an abundance of faith and persistence. And we know it couldn't have been possible without God's grace and an incredible church family that has sown their lives into this journey as we focus on being with Jesus, becoming like Jesus, and carrying on the mission of Jesus to His world.